We're moving forward with sports here in the Midwest, and one conference is going so far as to say they're doubling down on the idea. That's what we're talking about today on Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. We talk a lot of small college sports here on the channel, and I would encourage you to please consider subscribing to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. Well, yesterday we talked about the NAI's decision to postpone uh, not only most of the fall 2020 championships, but yesterday football was added to that list as well. So most, if not all now, the fall 2020 sports championships in the NAI have been postponed to the spring. However, and it does say this on the NAIA site, that the decision still allows NAIA conferences to compete in the fall and the winter if they so choose they can go ahead with regular season and conference play. So many of them are doing just that. And it was posted yesterday on the Heart of America website. The headline, Heart of America doubles down on the fall 2020 start. Commissioner Lori Thomas has said, while the landscape of the COVID-19 situation remains very fluid, we will continue to adjust our sales and move forward with optimism for the upcoming fall season. Our task force and the council presidents believe that it is in the best interest of our 14 members to continue the opening of competition this fall as planned. It goes on to say they will closely monitor the situation as it changes and those things are important. But member schools can begin practicing on Saturday, August 15th. Soccer, men's and women's soccer, women's volleyball, cross country with open competition no sooner than September 5th and of course football can have can have competition on September 12th and those were along the lines for of the NAI guidelines that were listed on July 1st one month ago today so the heart of america doubling down on the fall 2020 start a number of other conferences in the midwest are are putting similar words out there however this is the first time we've seen a conference come back and say no really no really we're going to do this and uh, the Heart of America being that conference. The KCAC moving forward. The KCAC appreciates the conference autonomy granted by the NAI Council of Presidents' decision and intends to compete this fall under the approved policies and procedures for the 2020-2021 school year. So another conference here in the Midwest moving forward. We had an opportunity to talk with the commissioner of the Great Plains Athletic Conference, Corey Westra, on the summit last week. He said the same thing. Though things are fluid, he is confident in his conference and their decision that they've posted to move forward as well. So the GPAC moving forward, the American Midwest Conference posting on Friday. Yes, with the unknown. There is unknown as to what the fall or spring may look like. Our presidents, based on what we know today, believe this is the best way to proceed. The American Midwest Conference moving forward with the season, the fall sports seasons, as currently scheduled. Also in the Midwest, the Sooner Athletic Conference is moving forward, albeit a little bit different as the SAC is going to be building some new schedules, not only for football, uh, cross country, soccer, women's volleyball as well. They're going to rebuild the schedule. The football schedule is interesting because there will be three games of football in the fall, six more football games in the spring, and the football games in the spring are going to be the ones that are going to be counted toward conference championships there. Uh, one more also in a IA conference from the Midwest, the Chicagoland Collegiate Athletic Conference posted on Wednesday that it is actually going to postpone its championships to the spring. So uh, CCAC doing things a little bit different, but most of the NAI conferences here in the Midwest are going to be moving forward. Also for Division II, the Great American Conference posted last week at this time that the Council of Presidents has unanimously approved a plan to delay the start. And so competition will take place in the GAC and it will begin on September 28th. Also for the MIAA. And the MIAA was one of the first conferences in Division II to come out and say, hey, listen, we are going forward. There were some other conferences that came out in Division II, five, six, seven, and eight, I believe, before the MIAA came out and made its stand. And Commissioner Mike Racy, and I have to read this quote because uh, he made absolutely no bones about this. Uh, he was quoted as saying this, look, there are a number of conferences throwing in the towel. That's not us. 
if things continue to get bad, we'll go down with the ship. We'll be the last ones to jump. So that is Commissioner Mike Gracie from the MIAA. And the MIAA also delaying start of fall sports until September 28th. The Lone Star Conference posted this week that it will move forward with the uh, fall 2020 season, delaying the start of competition until September 21st. So there is that. Now, I talked about other uh, collegiate conferences throughout the country, many of them on the East Coast. On the West Coast, the California Collegiate Athletic Association, well, according to uh, the words from Mike Racy, threw in the towel back in May. On May 12th, decided to go ahead and suspend competition for the fall. Didn't say that uh, they couldn't compete in the spring uh, with some of those fall sports, but back in May said, nope, we're not going to do this. But uh, in the Midwest, most of the conferences, NAI, Division II, and also Division Three. I mean, we can look over to uh, the American Rivers Conference, and it was posted this week uh, from the American Rivers Conference to going to move forward using a reduced schedule in football, a single round-robin schedule in other sports, but the fall sports and men's and women's cross-country football, women's golf, men's and women's soccer, women's tennis, and volleyball are going to be moving forward. And the conference also gives leeway. Non-conference competition is permitted at the discretion of the conference's nine institutions. So if any one of the, the uh, conference members wants to play some non-conference play as well, that is up to them, and they've been given the leeway to do so. So that is the American Rivers Conference. One other conference from the Midwest, the GLBC has announced its decision regarding 2020 2021 has postponed the majority of fall intercollegiate competition until the spring. Of course, the uh, cross country is still going to be competing this fall, and that's in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. So for the Midwest, it looks like that sports are moving forward in the fall, and that is something exciting to think about if you're a fan of sports, especially in this Midwest sports net region. Uh, that we're talking about now, many of the conferences will be seeing intercollegiate activity in the fall of 2020. And we go back to the way that uh, Commissioner Lori Thomas and the Heart of America put it, they're doubling down. They are definitely going forward with competition in the fall. Thanks for watching Midwest Sports Net today. Again, I'm Joey McWilliams. I would uh, appreciate if you would consider subscribing to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. We'll be back with more a little while later. God bless you. Have a great day.